All right, what's up, everybody? This uh, is Obscure Terrain coming at you from behind a bowl of soup. <laughs> yeah, this is thoughts while eating soup. Woo! We are going to talk to you guys about uh, episode three. Three uh, Forks. Called Three Forks, yeah. We, uh, it was supposed to be a through hike, and we were starting at Three Rivers and going up and over down into South Fork. We are officially on the Three Rivers Trail. We just began, and it is already gorgeous. We hear the water running down there. Uncle Maro's taking a pee, marking his territory. He's like, this is mine, that's mm. mine. And Wesley's uh, sending a text to our pickup. Josie, I'm texting you right now, whenever you see this in the future. <laughs> It was really, uh, there was no clouds in sight. I mean, Not a single cloud. Yeah. Not even like that, like weird tinted gray color yeah. in the sky. Really, really thin. That cloud. might turn into clouds later. And yeah. Nothing. Yeah, it was nothing. We did see it was supposed to be storming, but there was no storm in sight. Yep. Too bad we didn't have our Doppler radars. Yeah. <laughs> when we got to the actual trail, to get our backpacks packed and get set up with the dog. Took a little bit longer than um, we, we would have liked. Yeah. But we got on the trail about 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. and we started walking up and stuff. running like there was some water source so we weren't worried about water like we were, hydration. yeah we were we were pretty st stoked ready to go like i felt good my pack was light because i wasn't carrying much water and it was a beautiful day like it was so relaxing still no clouds in sight we're deep in the forest now dog was having a blast oh yeah he loved it and uh we uh we ran across one one backpacker and uh, i guess he stayed up there uh the night before and he was coming down as we we're going up and uh after he talked to us about a camp that he was at and that it was great and uh he said to me he saw some elk that's what he told us i think yep said he could hear him mm -hmm. just rambling off in the bushes and mean elk and whatnot <laughs> what's up buddy Akamaru. We are taking our first break. Hiked a mile in. He took uh, Akamaru to the river or to the creek to get some uh, some water. But look at this. This is some beautiful country. It's my first time back here. Oh, it's warm. It's not. Like the last episode, the Narrows, this one's definitely cooler, but those do look like rain clouds, so we could have another issue, but oh well, I'm for it. 
uh, it was cool because there was a point where we got into the mountains where we were just walking and there was cliffs on both sides and we were just basically switchbacking across that creek. Yep, this is everything I imagined back here. Check this out. That's Wesley. Look at these cliffs. This is a kitty city. This is obscure terrain. No, like actually the terrain's pretty obscure. Yeah, it is pretty obscure. This is our guest. This is the cutest guest in the world. Hi, cute guest. Akamaru. What are you doing? We are not sure where the trail is and it looks like we have to cross this log. Cause that looks kind of tr more trailly than, than what's up ahead. Here we go. No flies. Oh fuck man. I'm not ditching, I do this 60 feet in the air, huh? I don't think that can support our weight with packs so. though. Shit. It's about midday and we stopped to eat lunch and our do the dog freaks out real quick and this other hiker actually pops up on us. So he's more like a trail runner because he was running, he was wearing like the yeah, trail just running shoes, yeah. and a camelback. Yeah. So he told us, he was like, hey, be careful guys, they flash flood warning, all this area, yada yada. And we're looking up in the air like, eh, not a cloud in the sky, what does this guy know? He's too busy running around to even take time to smell the roses, you know, and understand <laughs> weather. <laughs> um, well, the only part that worried me about that is, uh, we're hiking towards a mountain so we could only see maybe three quarters of the sky i would say three quarters is a good number yeah probably like 75 percent is more accurate so we didn't know what was behind the mountain we couldn't see the clouds behind the mountain and uh <laughs> so we didn't know what was coming so we kept going walking and then all of a sudden it starts sprinkling so we stopped put our rain gear set up on our packs and on ourselves yep and by the time we got done doing that, it stopped sprinkling. So we were like, okay. Let's just leave it on. Let's just leave it on, but I guess it's not going to rain. And then a few moments later, it starts pounding on us. Yeah, just hitting us. Like, it'll, it'll, it never stopped raining. It just would get heavy, and then it'd lighten up. And then it'd get heavy, and then it'd lighten up. And uh, we, crossed, we crossed the creek again, and then we started switchbacking up the other side of the mountain. And uh, then it started hitting us hard. Thunder and lightning coming on down around us. Yeah, and like the, close to us too. And we had to walk through some tall, tall like brush, and, uh, and it, I had my spear. Yeah. So I was kind of yeah. worried about a lightning rod. I was like, Hey, wait. Um, do you think I should be holding this seven foot metal rod in the air while there was lightning going on around us? And I remember telling him, I was like, Yeah, I've been thinking about that for a while now. Because <laughs> it was striking a lot around us. Like you could feel was, the heat, kind of. It was scary. Like, yeah. we, were, we were just prepared, like, well, all right, we need to find a place to camp, and, like, there's no need, we, the, I mean, if we stop where we are, we're on the side of a mountain, like, there's, there's nowhere to camp, we're exposed, let's find an area, let's just keep moving, let's just be prepared. Well, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna get our packs. Plus, oh. got our rain gear. Yeah, waterproof, set. It's nice, though.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is obscure terrain. Yep. So, uh, rained on us for a little bit. It was a hard blast of rain, yeah. but it was for a short period of time. Yep, but we're keeping the rain gear on because it's starting to again. But no, there's, Akamaru. There's a lot of thunder going on. So we're going to keep going. Hopefully we find a little overhang or something that we can... Uh, Protect our tents so we don't get destroyed by hail or something. Yep, so... They said it might be flash flood, so we're gonna try to stay high enough out of the out of the riverbed and yeah, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Yep, we'll see you at the camp. Yep, later.